Now that we know a little bit more about effects, let's go ahead and write some into queues. I'm going to start by doing a go to queue 37, enter. So I'm going to say group 3, effect 3, enter. And that's going to make my high side break up start to twinkle. And now I'm going to go ahead and say record 37.1, and that will get it into my queue. Again, if you look at your playback status display, you'll notice that the effects column will show you the effects numbers that are running in that queue. Let's go ahead and start another effect. I'm going to say group 5, effect 901. And I'm going to say record next, enter. And because we were in a point queue, you'll notice that my next record is actually 37.2. So we respect the decimal places when using record next. Also in my effect column, my channels running effect 3 tracked, and I've added channels running effect 901. So for our next queue, we're going to say group 5, and we're going to go ahead and put those at focus palette 1. That's going to move my effect to run to the other side of the stage. And then I'm also going to say group 3, stop effect, enter to stop that color chase. And then I'm going to record 37.3, enter. So if we go back to Q37, let's watch how this all runs. We'll go on 37.1, and you can see that that color wash will start to fade in. I'll go on 37.2 and my fixtures will expand out to run that effect. And then in 37.3, I'm going to hit go. My pan and my tilt for group 5 are going to move down stage right, and I'm going to get a stop effect flag on my channels that were running the color effect. Well, now that we've queued the entire show with a big effect finale, there's nothing left to do but go to queue out.